Good afternoon everybody. In this video I'm going to be unboxing the motherboard for my PC. It just came in the mail yesterday and I thought why not unbox it right after I got off work. You guys can tell I'm wearing my work shirt. So here we go, let's dive right into this video. You guys can tell right in front of me I have the AS Rock B450M Pro 4 and this is a massive motherboard. It's an AMD Ryzen 3000 desktop ready. It's a massive motherboard for my PC. All right, so we open it up. Automatically, you guys can see we have like the manual, the instruction booklet, you know, how to power it, and cooling fans and things like that. This is the installing AM4 box cooler for the SR3, and it goes right on top of the processor. So I'm thinking I'm going to get a Ryzen 5. I might get a Ryzen 6. I don't know. All right, so there it goes, like right there. All right, let's see what else we got. So we got these cables to attach a motherboard to the rest of the PC, I think. Let's see, design for, okay. Then we have this panel. So this is going to go into an opening I have on my PC. It looks like a handle, but it's for this part so the motherboard can have all the USB hubs right open for it. Right here we have a disc, it looks like. It's the AAM4 23-bit driver DVD. Oh, that's cool. It gave us the driver. That's nice. All right. So we'll use this later in the future, definitely. All right. So it shows installing memory modules right here on the AM4 motherboards. Nate will show you where it goes. And each one of these sections right here, that's actually for RAM. All right. Now let's get into it. All right. So this packaging looks pretty nice. I know this isn't the best motherboard on the market. It's fairly old, but I am building a fairly budget PC. Alright, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Alright. So there is padding on the very bottom of this. Ooh, look at that. Man, that looks like a nice motherboard. Hold up. Let me move you guys so you can see it better. Alright. Man, alright. So you can see where the Ryzen 5, or sorry, I didn't mean Ryzen 6. I meant to say Ryzen 7. So you can see where my Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 7 is going to go. Most likely Ryzen 5 because once again, in budget build. And you guys can tell, okay, so all the ports that I was talking about, hold on, let's put it back on the back on the pad. All these ports right here, it's a fairly old, um, it's a fairly old motherboard as you guys can tell because it supports these types of ports. And this is actually going to be attached, right, like, it's going to be attached on the, sorry, not like that. It's going to be attached like this and it's going to stick on the outside of my PC so that way, you know, it's easily accessible but it's still covered partially. All right. You guys can tell we have the four RAM slots right here. It's actually pretty huge, so like this is the size of my hand as opposed to the PC itself. It's a pretty big motherboard. I think it's like fully sized also, so that's that's great. You can see all the individual little aspects of this and I love it. Um, I'm fairly new to PCs and I don't know anything or as much as a lot of people would, but you know, it, it does look pretty cool and it's piquing my interest in the electronic world, so I'm going to pursue this as a hobby. I might build PCs later and sell them for you guys. I don't know yet. For now, I'm just focusing on building my setup. But yeah, you guys can tell we have each of the individual ports. I think we got like a VGA port right there. Yeah, you guys can see each of the individual ports, the RAM, you can see where the processor goes. I didn't realize how small the processor was until I saw this square. It's about two inches, two inches, uh, two by two, or let's see, maybe a one and a half by one and a half. It's about three to four inches. But it's like super small for the price that you're paying, but I guess it makes sense because it is the processor that powers your PC. I thought you guys would enjoy this unboxing video. We're going to take it a step further once I get my RAM and my processor. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smack that like button down below. Leave a comment on what other videos you guys would like to see. I have a Fall Guys in Minecraft video currently in the works. So just let me know and you know subscribe if you're new to the channel. My goal is to hit, actually, sorry, we passed my goal. So my goal was to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the summer. And for me, the end of the summer, we already smacked that goal. So it's at, we're at 106 subscribers, trying to get to 120 by the end of this year. We're almost past 1,000 views. We are about 36 views away from 1,000. So I think that's pretty cool. Thank you all for the support. Have a blessed day. Peace out. Can't let you go. Can't let you go. Oh, 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 o